Well, hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us for our Bachelor of Business Administration Trades Management Honors Question and Answer Session. My name is Sam Walker, and I'm an Outreach and Education Advisor. Today, I'm joined by Professor and Program Coordinator Lawrence Smith from the McKeel School of Business. Lawrence has been teaching at Mohawk College since 2005 and has developed six new business programs during his time here. Previous to Mohawk, Lawrence spent 12 years working in the civil engineering industry. Today, we are here to provide information on Mohawk's newest honors degree program, the Bachelor of Business Administration and Trades Management. Thanks for joining us, Lawrence. No problem. My pleasure. So we'll jump right into it and we'll get started with question number one. So okay. a degree in skilled trades, can you give us some background on this newest program that we are discussing? It's a new program geared to people in trades that are interested in business, the, the management of business. And uh, we noticed that there was a gap in the offerings uh, on post-secondary degrees throughout Canada, actually, uh, not offering uh, tradespeople the opportunity to actually get some foundational knowledge about business. That's great. And can you describe some of the benefits and what makes this program so unique? Well, first of all, it's a degree completion program. So keep that in mind that it is a four-year degree, but you're not doing four years. You're doing a completion of a degree. The idea is that this degree we have here, the trades management degree, is your major is business and your minor is your trades degree, your trade certification, whether it's red seal or a diploma or certificate from college and your experience in that trade. That's your minor. And so that's why it's not four years. It is uh, in terms of you doing it, you're going to get four years credit and therefore that honors degree. So what this program offers is a trades to degree pathway. So can you describe some of the features and benefits of studying within this program? What employers are looking for in almost every industry is management. They're looking for people to come in and take management roles. And they're looking for people that have that foundational knowledge that they can then ascend and be groomed to be higher managers in a, in a say, a construction company or something like that. And so what we're doing in this particular program is we're designing the courses to be generalist in nature. And what that means is that we focus on marketing, we focus on operations, and we focus on administration so that they can properly manage the entire uh, company as they ascend up the corporate ladder. So that's the main thing that we're trying to do with this is, is give you foundational knowledge about how to be a good businessman and particularly a manager in that business. It's great. Tremendous amount of benefits. Can you give us an idea about how the program is structured and what types of courses are included? Marketing courses of a variety of types. We have operations courses of a, a variety of types, and we have the administration courses, the management courses, so human resources, finance, all that kind of stuff. The main thing to keep in mind for people potentially coming into this program is that we infer or we credit you the courses for the first two years, mostly. We understand you've had a communications knowledge from your trades, right? You Math, uh, safety, um, a little bit of business knowledge, just a little bit. And so we give you credit for that entire two years, except for bridging courses. Bridging courses are courses in which you likely have no prior knowledge. There's these five bridging courses that you need to take before you get into the third year and get into all the other courses, the marketing operations and the admin stuff in, in, in fine detail. And these courses are all offered completely online? Everything is online. Yes, everything is online. That's great. So they can continue working in the skilled trades and while completing their degree courses completely online. So a tremendous benefit for students that are considering this program. Absolutely. Yeah. We expect them to do about two courses per term. And we expect also that summers, they might not be doing anything because that might be the peak time for their particular trade. But it all depends. We'll be offering courses throughout the entire summer, winter and uh, fall terms. So who is this program right for? And what are the types of career outcomes that they can expect? These are people that have an inkling towards the business side of whatever trade they're in, and they would like to learn more about not just the theory of that business, but how you would apply it in a business setting. That is the key thing. That's the, the one of the advantages of the college system is the ability to link up theory with practicality. The program advisory committee was all over this program. They were so excited about the potential to bring in people that had foundational skills about business that they could then groom and apply their own particular business to those foundational skills so that they can be more fine-tuned and refined. If you're a student of this program, you graduate from it, you're in a, say, a construction company, and you know about management accounting, 
that's the starting point for your grooming to become an upper manager. And that's exactly what they want. Can you detail some of the admission requirements for those that are looking to get into the program? We're looking for people that are trades people, absolutely. Uh, and so people with a red seal certification or a gold seal certification are definitely candidates. And there's also people who have done a college trade program of some kind, typically related to a red seal certification. So you'd have a red seal or a gold seal, or sometimes a red seal and a gold seal, or a college transcript. And so uh, they need to have those things. Plus, they have to have a minimum of two years in a trade, working specifically in that trade. And then all applicants would, would need to provide their uh, resume and the transcripts that are relevant. So the red seal, the gold seal, or a diploma type transcripts from a college. So if someone does not meet all the criteria, but they are interested, what options do they have? Well, if they didn't have a red seal, gold seal, or a diploma, then they would have to get that. If they're in a trade in which they haven't got a red seal, then get a red seal, like go and do it. And if you don't have the year's experience, then you got to wait for the year's experience. We've had some applicants who have got the educational stuff and the seal, but they don't have their work experience yet. They need to have two years experience. Well, thank you for all the information that you shared with us today. And for anybody that's interested to apply to our Bachelor of Business Administration Trades Honors Management Program starting this September, you can visit www.ontariocolleges.ca to submit your application. I'd like to thank you, Lawrence, for your time today and for answering all of these questions. If you have any additional questions, please reach out to discover at mohawkcollege.ca. Thanks very much for joining us.